And this is Channel 4, New Orleans. And the police strike didn't stop the annual drag contest in the quarter. This year, the usual feather boas and frills gave way partially to the macho man leather look with many sporting construction hats. Spectators and participants alike, they, well, they jammed bourbon trees, what they did for blocks in both directions. They were hoping for a glimpse of the action. <laughs> it's been such a long day. <laughs> Any trip into the French Quarter on Mardi Gras Day can be an education, even for New Orleanians. But for a National Guardsman from Bogalusa, it can be a real experience. There was a brief negotiating session today in an effort to end the 11-day-old strike by New Orleans policemen. I'm sorry, we're exhausted. This is what it's come to. Norman Robinson reports right now. Ms. Cass, I apologize laughing through those first couple of stories. It's been a very long time. It wasn't day. the stories. I just, it was like being in church and they say, don't laugh or you're in big trouble. I know, and it's been I'm a very long day. <laughs> yeah. Incidentally, the dry cleaner called and he said your uh, feather boa couldn't get out in time for today, <laughs> but he will have it ready for tomorrow morning. Indiana State celebrated its new number one <laughs> Thank you by taking its first step on the road to the NCAA playoffs tonight. <laughs> the Second Wars are now unbeaten in 27 games this, this season after defeating West Texas State 94-84 in the first round in the Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Tournament. <laughs> the, tour <laughs> the tournament winner receives an automatic bid to the NCAAs. <laughs> 